know why I look so bad. Hey guys, it's me Nina and I'm back with another video for this week. I have had this idea for video on my head for a while and I'm finally having the chance to sit down and film it and hopefully you enjoy. So today we're going to be talking about things that Christian singles are tired of hearing because if you are a Christian and if you are single, there are particular words and phrases that Christian singles are told or certain things that you're expected to do or whatever. And I think some of them are literally crazy and I don't understand why people think it's okay to give this advice, but these are some of the things I'm tired of hearing and hopefully alternatives are reasons why we should say something different to people who are Christian and single. The first thing that I am tired of hearing as a Christian single is to use this time to work on myself. And this is going to be a recurring idea throughout the video, but why would I only work on myself while I am a single? I am somebody who is a self-help book junkie. I literally am always reading something about like improving productivity, bettering myself. I'm always seeing like counselors and like getting into fitness and like I'm always doing something to improve myself. But I would still be doing that even if I were in a relationship or married. And this idea of like, I remember someone said like, now use your time as a single to learn how to cook. What? <laughs> like, should you not want to know how to cook just to like enjoy a meal for yourself? Blah, blah, blah. I get where it's coming from and this idea of like not focusing so much on your singleness and kind of like moving on and seeing like other aspects of what you can grow on. But you can also do that if you are in a relationship. In fact, I hope that your personal growth does not stop the minute that you are in a relationship. The next thing I hear often is singleness is a gift and to which I use my favorite quote from my friend Jeremiah which is if singleness is a gift, where is the gift receipt? And again, I know this like overly positive attitude, like I know this comes from a good place of trying to view your singleness as something that's good rather than something that needs to kind of like over with or whatnot. But singleness is hard in many ways. And it's like kind of like saying like you being poor is a gift, you know, like it's like, let's be real about what it is. Like for some people, there is the gift of singleness and some people enjoy that and love that and whatnot. But can we just acknowledge it for what it is? Like it is a hard experience for many people. You should see how much I am taxed as a single person. Okay. Like I, that was not funny. I'm sorry. Okay. Well, my last point is now is your time to serve God the most. Once you're married, you will have the responsibility of children and whatever else and your husband and now is your time to serve God the most. But again, why is it that we think we have to do these things before you are a single? Before you're single. Before you are married. Um, it goes against this mentality of like the single should be doing X, Y, and Z and it's without saying outright, the assumption is you will be doing less for God's kingdom when you're married. But for some people, you can actually be doing more for God's kingdom when you're married. You can be serving more, doing more once you are married. So that's a challenge for, for anybody listening to this as well. Don't just assume that because you're single that you have more time to spare. Let's say you're married and you don't have children and lots of married couples either choose or cannot have kids. You still have time, even if you are still separating time for your husband. So yeah, those are some of the things that I'm tired of hearing as a single and hopefully I can make a like look back on this and see if I was actually right one day when I'm married. But I just think that a lot of the comments and things that people say are so ludicrous and don't really make sense to me because you're making all sorts of assumptions about who you are before you're married versus who you are after and it just doesn't seem that feasible to me. But yeah, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below and I'll see you next week.